Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through full dive. Now with full dive, you can finally watch your own photos and more importantly, videos in Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this video is for Daydream District, bringing you all the latest news, reviews and walkthroughs like this for Daydream VR. So full dive is actually a cardboard app and you won't find it on the Daydream Play Store. You have to go to the Android Play Store and download it there. However, the developer of this app made this fully Daydream compatible so you can use your motion controller to navigate the app, which is great. So when you first open the app, you see lots of curated content like this video that I'm opening right now. It is um, curated into different categories like funny, scary and so on and so forth. The video that I clicked on now was on the, on the very first um, page and let's have a quick look at this video. So even this video is titled VR Girls, no worries. This video is safe for work so I'm going to keep this whole video safe for work so don't worry. Okay, this is really interesting. So if you have never seen adult content on VR, it's pretty close to this, just like the ladies don't do housework. Or they do, but they work considerably less. Okay, I'm gonna cut it here. Let's get back to full dive. Okay, so the full dive app, there's lots of video created for you and it's in different kind of categories. You can scroll through it. You can react to the videos and then they made it like a social experience. If you have friends who also use this app, you can see how they react to these videos. You can kind of find videos that other people were watching. It's quite interesting. But the really exciting part is on the right side here where you have apps. So here's my videos where you can look at your own videos that you have on your device. You can have a look at your own photos and not just 360 photos, all photos. Then we have a VR market with lots of cardboard apps, 360 degree channels, my VR apps, a browser, YouTube, and 360 degrees 3D videos. So now let's have a look at the VR market. And as you can see here, there's lots of lots of cardboard apps that you can all check out here. But again, these are cardboard apps and if the developer did not adjust them that they work with Daydream, they won't work with Daydream. Let's have a look here. Uh, for example, Horror VR, there's some screenshots that you can look at on the right side here. What's new, additional information, and you can save that. And on the left, there's the description, but it's far too small. When you're in VR, you totally cannot read that. So the, develop, the developer has to improve that part, definitely. But anyways, it's just great that you can find all the cardboard and VR apps in one place. And uh, yeah, you don't need to go to the Play Store because there's not really a great place to find them all. Um, yeah, so now why don't we have a look at the browser. How to navigate, yes, that's all for cardboard. Now you can just use your motion controller from Daydream, which is fantastic. So this should really be the first browser that's available for Daydream right now. And let's have a look at it and check it out. So it starts with the full dive app, makes sense. But let's go now and have a look at another website. We click on search here in the bottom and then you, you got this keyboard. And now we can simply enter the name of the website that we would look, like to have a look at. And let's have a look at daydreamdistrict.com. As we know, um, the typing experience in Daydream is good. However, this is not the original Daydream typing keyboard from Google. That is the full dive one. So you can tell this is really a cardboard app. Looking for results in English. Yeah, let's do that. Man, I told you before, straight. It be the physical 
and daydream district here it is we click on it and yeah perfect works really well here is daydream district and let's click on something let's have a look how can i scroll here let's check oh uh, okay cool we just point down and it works no let's not have a look at vr cards sprint review no 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 how to go back let's check oh, okay here perfect we have the back button here in the bottom and let's have a look around let's have a look at something that i did yesterday actually it's all daydreams apps and games in one place so if you would like to have a great look at everything that's out there you can simply go to daydreamdistrict.com and in the right top you can find this all games and apps and it's like an overview about all apps and games that are available right now for daydream completely with links to the gameplay walkthrough videos and the reviews so later i'm going to add this full dive app to this um, overview as well it's really good cool so the browser really works well now let's have a look at my photos you can first choose the folder i'm choosing the my camera photo in this case and yeah, here, that's me. And now let's click on one of the photos, see what happens. Yep, nice, works perfectly well. So now you have a way to look at your um, 2D photos in VR as well. What you can see here is the Christmas market here in Dortmund, Germany, which is one of the nicest Christmas markets in Germany. We have the highest Christmas tree in the world. And now I can have a look at it in VR as well. So you can have this um, spherical view as well, if you want to, and cool, great. A way to look at your photos in VR. I would love to show you the My Videos section as well. However, this would make this video not safe for work since I'm checking out the adult content right now. Um, I can tell you it does work, so there's finally a way to watch all your adult content. However, I had some problems with the 3D, which didn't really work so well. So I'm going to connect with the developer of this app and ask him what's the matter here. So instead, let's have a look at the other videos that they have curated here already. This is like the 360 degrees video section. And now I'm in the horror section, checking out one of the horror experiences. And there's a lot as well. Let's have a look. This one is supposed to be about an elevator. And here we are, we are in an elevator. Yeah, not so scary after all. Well, probably something's gonna pop out very soon. Probably it's because I have this happy music in the background, which kind of makes it more bearable. Okay. Yeah, probably in real life I would be really scared, but yeah, not really. Okay, anyway, so there's lots of content that you can have a look at in this app. And uh, yeah, there's lots of things to explore. So again, in summary, Full Dive allows you to browse the web in VR, to have a look at your videos in VR, to have a look at your 2D photos in VR, and to have a look at lots of curated content. It's a really good app and I can just recommend you to download it. You will not find this app in the Daydream Play Store. You have to go to the Android Play Store, download it there, and once you did so, you can find it in your Daydream library. Again, the reason is this is actually a cardboard app and you can tell by the menus and stuff. And the developer added some Daydream controls, which is really good. So sometimes you feel it's not as perfect as the apps in the store, it's a bit jittery sometimes, but it's good enough to use it and it gives you this added functionality that we've all been waiting for. The 3D playback for the video didn't quite work as I expected it to work, but that's something that for sure can be fixed in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on like to let me know that I should keep on doing these videos and subscribe to never miss any Daydream District videos in the future.